So I got a new surfboard. We're gonna check it out. It's a seven foot, 22 and a quarter, three inch, ripping the kick pads. Oh yeah. But you can see it's pretty jacked up. Uh, delamination. This goo gone. Goo and sticker remover. Just get it on there, let it soak for probably like 10 minutes. Helps get all that sticker residue off of there. Still gonna have to do this probably two or three times just to get it off, just because it sucks. Just about to the uh, laminating stage, so that means all the fillers done, um, all the patches cut out, filled, smooth, sanded. I sanded out some of the rough edges here. We got our first patch here. Painted the whole rail black to match. Tried the yellow tint just to get it a little closer. So I got this taped off because I'm going to put the glass in. I want to make sure that it doesn't get too crazy. I don't really know what's under here or under here. But I don't really want to know, so it looks solid and closed up, watertight, so that's fine. I want to show the tail, so I'm pretty stoked on this. You can see the before pictures, but after sanding it and sanding it and molding it, prepping it by hand and blocking it out, I'm going to show the front, but you can see both of those tails were completely gone. And I uh, got them all dialed in, painted, taped it all off. I like the look of the stringer, so I'll leave that for now. Had a little bit of repair here that actually wrapped around, so it gets pretty tight. So I'm going to put a layer of glass on here and then wrap underneath all the way up and over that. Another patch here. Try it again. Get the pinstripe in there. This is a little part where the filler went through the foam. That's one thing I realized on another board is you got to go end-to-end -end filler. But um, what's cool is this is also a patch right here, which you can't even tell. So I'm just going to put a glass all along this whole rail reinforce the whole thing got all the patches nice and smooth trick of the trade when foam gets hot like the blow dryer or sanding or whatever it actually expands so if you have a foam blank or anything like that and you get a ding in it or something hits it or whatever just hit it with a blow dryer and uh, it'll pop it out but you can see after many many layers and sanding and painting the ass this is all nice and smooth nice and flush but I think it came out pretty bitching. So I'm pretty stoked on that.
astronaut looks pretty good. Sanded it all down, feathered it in the edges. What that means is you just want to create a little ramp for it to go along the edge. It's called feathering it in. And then this part too, you'll just sand this before the hot coat. Tail I'm going to have to do by hand. And then the last one you can see kind of feathering in. I got a high spot here. I'm pretty stoked, came out pretty good. And then we'll just glass the top and then do the hot coat on all of it and then paint it and then ride it. beautiful day today the board's pretty much done the only thing I didn't show is the uh, the wet sanding but uh, essentially the last layer what you want to do is just wet sand I did about 330 grit so you can see the fiberglass here everything's in glass smooth hot coat done there's a little bit of burn through right here sanding too much of the hot coat Came up pretty good. A little bubble on the first layer because I put two layers on the tail just to reinforce it. Even in the light, you can look down the rail and see the shape is pretty good. Pretty consistent. Nice and smooth, look good. Obviously the blue is not ideal, but I still had fun with it. So we got a patch here. This is someone else's repair and patch, but I still put glass and hot coat over it to help reinforce it. Again, a little bit of burn through, which I'm not sure how to fix because I don't think putting more hot coat on it's going to fix it. I'm going to figure it out though. But you, the shape turned out pretty bitchin'. Got a little divot here with the coat since I painted underneath before some of the color got up into the weave and that's why it's black just because of the color beforehand I'll probably not do that again with spray paint underneath 